Stretching across rural and urban areas, Sidibeng District Municipality is the proud custodian of a region strengthened by its great natural assets, the Val River and Val Dam. From Heidelberg to Mayerton, Sharpville to Van der Bell Park and Vereniging, Sidibeng covers the entire southern part of Gauteng. Like much of South Africa, safety and security for residents, business and the region's many tourists is a high priority. Maliho Liatwe is from the Directorate of Community Safety, tasked with ensuring a safer city being. People like Liatwe, with a stake in the region's safety, have come together in a progressive, collaborative forum. The City Bank Community Safety Forum brings together government departments, business, civil society and the community, all working together towards a common goal of safer communities. The forum mobilizes people and resources for a maximum impact. Our aim within City Bank is to render service to ensure that City Bank is safer. We have all stakeholders that are involved in our CSF. It's where we discuss issues and we have reports from other stakeholders. Thereafter, as CD Bank, we take it to our locals because we have now launched four local municipality CSF. That is where we should uh, coordinate. Our own STD Bank district is to coordinate. The forum holds regular meetings, collaborates in violence prevention actions, and hosts special events. It's a place for stakeholders to come together to share what they know and learn from each other. People are starting to talk to each other. Things are not happening in isolation. People are sharing concerns, people are sharing resources, people are sharing ideas so that we can come up with, a, with an integrated plan where crime could be addressed on all different kinds of ways. Each member of the forum recognizes that together they can accomplish more. The city bank community safety as well as the Infulene local uh, municipality has always supported our programs. We have programs in place like the ones that I've mentioned earlier on. We are having an annual cycling tour. That is, we, we getting uh, 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 disfunded by, by the municipalities and then we are having this children program where they interact with uh, their peers in prison, uh, the, those identified learners. So we, the city Bend district municipality as well as the Infulene municipality has always been instrumental in funding uh, projects that are also aimed at uh, you know, ensuring that uh, reintegration of offenders back into the community are effective. We are supporting the community policy and relations structures, the CPFs, the youth desks, the patrollers. We have trained, I mean, the patrollers in various fields. Some of them, currently the latest one, uh, we train about 30 youth desk members in a law enforcement, in a peace officer training, whereby they've been even certified as peace officers by the provincial commissioner for a period of five years. One of the forum's greatest strengths is responding to community needs and involving them in the response. Many informal settlements do not have street names or numbers. This makes it almost impossible for emergency responders such as police, ambulance or firefighters to locate residents in need. The challenge is that uh, we're facing mostly in, in informal settlements. It's the numbering of the houses. And now the community safety forums get in by mobilizing community volunteers to, to start numbering the, the shacks. And the other challenge in the suburbs is the recru recruitment of youth desk members, CPF members and volunteers. In other words, the Community Safety Forum helps build bridges between communities and police services. The Community Safety Forum helps us by engaging the communities in crime awareness. They also mobilize the community patrollers or CPFs, including the volunteers, to be part of the operations. It's by engaging with people, especially youth, that Citibank Community Safety Forum is working towards the vision of a safer future. In terms of community safety, through the vulnerable groups, we are saying if we target our children at an early age, you know, we make sure that they grow up into being youth and adult 
learning practices which make them safer, you know, avoiding being at awkward places, you know, at night, things like that, making sure that all our children go to school. And with school safety programs, that's where we empower our teenagers, especially girls, as vulnerable groups, so that they make sure that they avoid situations which are going to make them not so safer. One of the programs that Citibank has put in place to keep an eye on crime are CCTV cameras. The CCTV control center is a hub of activity with operators keeping a close eye out, not just for crime progress, but potential problems before they happen. Coordination between the operators, police and policing forums is so effective, action against crime is almost immediate. Victor Mueti. For Enigheng CCTV supervisor says the system has been in place since 2005. Statistics showed that within the first three months of its installation, crime dropped by a staggering 47%. The community can learn that by uh, taking crime into uh, crime fighting into their own hands, then they may be able to chase criminality out of the communities. Well, uh, I should think uh, every department needs to come to the party to make sure that uh, you know we, we do our bit in ensuring that uh, we deal with the issue of social crime prevention. No department can just work and solve problems on its own. So we are bringing the data here, the information that we have, in terms of child-headed families that we have in schools. And then here we are sharing it with the Department of Social Development, we are sharing it with subs in some instances to say how do we deal with this particular aspect. Citizens can help us by involving others, especially those who are negative or who, who don't want to work with the police. Make them change their attitude and work with us in this fight of fighting crime. Promoting the idea that everyone has a role to play is not always easy. And there is always the challenge of scarce resources. And of course, crime still happens. However, the forum continues to learn and grow and share experiences about what's working and what isn't. Hope continues as South Africa is made safer one step, one community at a time.